ambassador. Is it the first time you work in Beijing? Because I feel like you know China so well. And what is the biggest difference between uh, your previous expectation and real life in Beijing in China? Uh, I've been in China before I posted here as an ambassador uh, two times for um, uh, a visit, actually a uh, work visit. Uh, in my first um, experience, I was part of a delegation led by our former prime minister and that time we have had the chance to visit uh, Beijing, Guangzhou. Uh, I think most of the ex my expectations had been met uh, uh, while I'm here as an ambassador. So I'm very much happy to be in here and to be assigned uh, here as an ambassador representing my uh, country, beloved country, Ethiopia, a uh, country who has a strong bilateral relationship with, uh, with, uh, with China. I hope uh, I will have a lot to accomplish so that um, the existing strong bilateral relation between the two countries would be further strengthened and deepened and on top of economic uh, and the political, uh, I think uh, the people-to-people -people relationship would be uh, better strengthened and enhanced. So I'm really enjoying uh, life here in, in, in China, work and life in China. So when we talk about your country, uh, what would you uh, like us Chinese audience to know and to remember? I think Ethiopia, as you have mentioned, is uh, an ancient country with ancient civilization, a long history of statehood. Mm. I think one phrase partly, uh, I mean, explain is Ethiopia. Um, Ethiopia is the land of origins. It's cradle of humankind. Um, it's the birthplace of coffee. Mm -hmm. So, Ambassador, what is the m most remarkable characteristic of our friendship uh, in your eyes? Um, well, I think. Um, the bilateral relationship between China and uh, Ethiopia goes uh, 2,000 years uh, uh, back. Uh, but when we uh, consider the, the formal diplomatic relation, it has been uh, some 53 years. Especially the last three uh, decades, I think the bilateral relationship between the two countries elevated uh, to its highest level. Uh, very recently, uh, it has been elevated to following our, uh, His Excellency, our Prime Minister, Dr. Abiy Ahmed's visit to, uh, official visit to China. Uh, it's elevated to the all-weather uh, partnership, uh, strategic partnership level. So, uh, the unique, um, I mean, characteristics uh, is it's based, based on mutual trust. Uh, and it's uh, based on mutual benefit, respect. Uh, Ambassador, uh, you know, uh, uh, this year, 2023, marks the 10th anniversary of the Belt and Road Initiative. Ethiopia is one of the first countries in Africa uh, to jointly uh, build uh, Belt and Road. And uh, so um, what BRI has brought to your country? What role of BRI to the mutual development of the whole world? I think <coughs> BRI uh, as a global initiative uh, uh, from China is a remarkable uh, undertaking that spans uh, continents and transcends uh, borders. Uh, it's connecting economies. Mm, it's facilitating trade, investment, and connecting people. Uh, it is enhancing people-to-people -people, uh, relation, cultural uh, exchange, and actually realizing uh, shared pros uh, global shared prosperity. So it has a greater role uh, um, in the, the global uh, uh, civilization, the global uh, development. Uh, specifically coming to Ethiopia, I think Ethiopia have been, as you have mentioned, uh, one of the first countries who has actually uh, joined the uh, VRI initiative. 
and has been actually uh, benefited a lot from this, this initiative. Uh, one showcase is the one that you have mentioned, the Addis Djibouti uh, electric railway, which is one of the longest electric railway in Africa, which is actually facilitating trade. Uh, we call the Addis Djibouti corridor, it's like our bloodline of our economy. So um, by giving a boost to uh, the, our logistics uh, efficient, efficiency and effectiveness, uh, this uh, remarkable uh, and landmark project uh, under this BRI initiative is supporting the economic development of uh, Ethiopia. Another area is uh, we are trying to, we are striving to develop our production capacity and uh, we aspire to be the manufacturing hub of Africa. In this regard, um, the Hausa uh, Industrial Park has been actually part of this uh, BRI initiative and it is supporting our uh, manufacturing capacity and actually uh, assisting our export uh, sector in bringing uh, better foreign uh, currency which is actually badly needed uh, uh, by our, our, our economy. On top of this BRI has been actually um, uh, uh, supporting our economy through the development of uh, telecommunication. Uh, so now uh, we have one of the, the strongest telecommunication in Africa, uh, which is instrumental in actually in, uh, supporting our uh, economic uh, endeavor. So this is uh, an iconic and a showcase uh, initiative uh, as far as China-Ethiopia relationship is concerned and as far as Africa and China relationship is concerned. So I think this clearly demonstrates uh, the high importance that the BRI uh, and uh, uh, BRI initiative, uh, the Belt and Road Initiative has uh, brought uh, uh, to Ethiopia. Uh, Ambassador, uh uh, during this, uh, uh, you know, quite recently, uh, BRI uh, uh, forum, the third BRI forum for international cooperation, uh, our uh, uh, bilateral relations elevated to uh, a wider strategic partnership, which is really a milestone uh, to both of us. And uh, would you please uh, shed more lights on a better understanding the significance behind this and of course this successful visit of Prime Minister to China. It's another milestone in the bilateral relationship uh, between China uh, and Ethiopia. Yeah, I think um, elevating the bilateral relationship to always a strategic partnership level uh, would bring huge opportunity for both China and e Ethiopia. Uh, I think uh, uh, the, the relationship uh, and the partnership would be uh, in all spheres. Uh, in the investment, it will further enhance it. Trade, it will further be strengthened. Uh, tourism is a newly coming <coughs> industry and area of partnership, so it will for sure uh, invigorate the, 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 the sector and the, the relationship in this, in this area. Uh, I just wonder if you uh, uh, can uh, give us your points of view on Chinese modernization and uh, what kind of path uh, for Ethiopian to pursue your modernization. Thank you. Uh, I think um, China's modernization mm, it's something uh, uh, well um, related to its past uh, ancient civilization. Uh, it's good to explain the China modernization, um, um, I mean explaining its characteristics. Uh, in this case, I would uh, like to mention two characters which most uh, actually impress me. The first one is the, the, the China modernization path uh, is really well aligned with the um, reality, the objective situation of China. 
uh, it doesn't emulate any uh, any civilization in, in, in the in, in, in the world it, it pursues its own path its own way how can we work together China and Ethiopia to uh, uh, better you know uh, contribute to the development of the African countries uh, for example we are connecting we are providing uh, electric uh, power to our neighbors. For example, currently we provide electric power to Kenya, to Djibouti, to Sudan. In the future, we'll continue to do so for other uh, neighboring countries. So, collaborating with China in the economic sphere will not remain. Uh, its impact will not remain within Ethiopia, but it will have, uh, I mean, a far-reaching impact to the neighboring countries. So, in the future, um, I think. Uh, we have even uh, a bigger, a bigger uh, vision so that we can, uh, uh, under this, the African free trade uh, area, uh, we, we, we would like to connect with all African countries. Uh, you know, Ethiopian drawing bricks. What does uh, me? What does it mean for uh, bricks? and for Ethiopia and for Africa. Uh, we are glad uh, and we are grateful for the support of China and other members of the BRICS uh, for supporting Ethiopia to, to join uh, the BRICS. I think this will bring a lot of opportunities for Ethiopia, uh, but um, for me it will consolidate the South-South cooperation. Uh, as China and Africa are part of the South South uh, cooperation, it will for sure uh, bring lots of opportunities for Ethiopia, Africa, uh, and uh, BRICS uh, members. Uh, I mean, the second most populous uh, country in Africa, uh, being a member of BRICS, will for sure bring additional potential, a vibrant economy in Africa coming into BRICS. Uh, and a huge potential and uh, a bright future. We would like to invite you to share one or two your favorite sentence or motto from Ethiopia. Mm. Um, I can mention one. Mm. Uh, when um, the saying goes, goes like this, uh, when uh, spider webs unite, uh, they can tie up a lion. This is to indicate the power of and the strength of unity and the power of coming together. This can serve uh, unity within a country, so coming together uh, and uniting together will for sure uh, serve the betterment uh, of humankind.